Well, this week, Dr. Anthony Fauci named Kentucky and Ohio as two of several states showing early warning signs of a resurgence of COVID-19. Now, just a short while ago, Governor Andy Bashir said that the Bluegrass State had more than 650 new confirmed cases yesterday alone. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis went to Boyd County to find out what doctors and local officials attribute the rising positive cases to. This is real and folks need to take it seriously. Infections are once again on the rise in Boyd County, Kentucky. So much so, Governor Andy Bashir ordered the closing of bars for two weeks on Monday. And experts say if the numbers don't come down, it's likely to continue. I think if positivity continues uh, to climb, that we'll see more more rollback like that. The two things officials are attributing it to? We attribute the rise in positive cases to uh, travel related and community spread. Boyd County alone has reported 163 cases since this pandemic began and a total of three deaths. There were 86 cases in July alone, including two new positive cases today. 27 are currently active and these cases are affecting every age group here. The largest increase in positivity have been in individuals under age 20, but we've also seen quite a, a leap in individuals who are in their 20s. Dr. Tyler Elam says Kentucky is at a tipping point right now. Over the past week to two weeks, our positivity in cases has risen dramatically since we've been doing this in March. Governor Andy Bashir issued a mandatory mask mandate on July 9th to help curb the spread, but that expires on August 8th. Officials around here say they would not be surprised if it got renewed. I believe it's something that could be and likely will be extended, especially if um, it's proven to maintain case levels. Reporting in Boyd County, I'm Natalie Wattis. 13 News, working for you. On top of all the measures mentioned, restaurants in Kentucky are only allowed to operate at 25% capacity and schools are recommended to push back their start dates until the third week in August.